How's it going, David from Comic Book Investments? So got some stuff back from CGC. All this stuff, of course, is on my website, collectorscomics.com. If you didn't know, got more stuff than this, but this is just what I'm showing you. I pick out interesting things. And I made a, two mistakes, actually. Two. Two pretty bad mistakes. Stupid me, stupid me, stupid me. I don't know why I did this. I don't even know what I was thinking, um, to be honest. I like look at these books and I'm like, what? I, it just didn't really make any sense. Like, and then the other mistake was just waiting too long and forgetting about it. And then the book just plummets to basically zero. And then basically I you know, lost a bunch of money on this stuff <laughs> because I don't know, that was, that was on me. But the, I don't know, the other one, I guess I was just, my brain wasn't working or something. But let's get into it. That's uh, later down in this stack over there. Let's get to the good stuff though. That's what you guys like to see is the good stuff. Okay, so. What do we got up first? First we got is one of my favorite Spider-Man books because I had it when I was a child, is Spider-Man 6. First appearance of the Lizard. Came back the grade I was hoping for, 949. In case you don't know what that number is, that is the grade followed by the price that I have it listed. All right, next we got the first appearance of the Punisher. Great book, very good key. I think I put this number, it's number two. There were three on my list, top 10 Bronze Age, 1970s, uh, not Bronze Age, 1970s list, if you haven't seen those top 10 lists. Um, that would be a 5 -oh, got a 5-5, five -five, so good there, 14 59 for that one. Here's a cool book. Sorry, my dog keeps on scratching at the door he wants out because I imprisoned him in this place. Ugh. I need my list. Cool book. We got uh, Avengers number four, seven zero. But this is actually the Golden Records reprint. So not as cool as the non. But it came out only what is it, 66? 66. And I think the other one was 64. So not too much longer. Uh, 629. So vastly cheaper. But then we got this other cool Captain America. This is actually a cool cover. I like this cover. Captain America number 100 in a 9-0. A 9-0. Let me see. Yeah, maybe that's a little better. Um, do, do, do. Thought it'd be an 8-5. Got a 9-0. Good there. Uh, 14-59. Then we got here. This is the first time I've ever had this book. It's a Casper number 20. This is the first appearance of Wendy the Witch. So that's very cool. Um, came back great. I was hoping for $9.99. Then we got here, Wakanda Forever, first Black Panther, who once was titled Black Leopard for one issue. And originally, his name, do you know what his name was? If you guys watched my show and you watched my uh, deep dive into why they changed the name, his original name was Cole Tiger. Yes, Cole Tiger. But they changed it because it was a terrible name. Anyways, uh, came back great. I was hoping for thirteen ninety nine. And here we go. My, if you saw my video yesterday, this is my craziest spec. Um, Flash number one thirty nine, eight ninety nine. That's what it is. Came back great. I was hoping for. Um, yeah, a lot of people were saying like, oh, it's going to be called Dark Flash because we looked at some pop figure or whatever. Yeah, and that may be true, or maybe they're doing a red herring um, and throwing you off the trail. That's what I'm hoping because I don't want no Dark Flash or just make him the reverse Flash. That's what he should be. It makes sense. It was in the Flash point. On top of that, it just like he has to give him the powers, which makes sense because that's how the reverse flash works and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. Don't try to make another flash. I don't want them to make another flash. Just do the reverse flash. Don't do everything about the reverse flash, but change like a few things, his name and like a little bit about him. Just make the reverse flash. Eobard Thawne. I uh, got a bunch of invincible comic books. I got multiple number ones, uh, all different grades. Uh, this is a 9-8 signed by Robert Kirkman, I believe. Yes, Robert Kirkman signed it. Um, got tons of different grades. Got tons of different issues. Bunch of invincible stuff. Um, I don't know what this is. What is this? I don't know. 34 
Then we got Iron Man number one over here in a 5-5. Five, five. I thought this would be a 6-5 to a 7. What was going on here? Let me look at this thing. Uh, it has a bunch of like color rub, and I think that's why. Oh, well. Move on. Um, 739. Then we got first appearance Thanos, Drax, Star Fox. Uh, what's his name? Flippy, Falco. I'm missing one. Am I missing one? There's like the old, the rabbit. What's the rabbit's name? If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there's Star Fox, there's Flippy, there's Falco, there's the rabbit. What is the rabbit's name? Um, I don't know. Tell me what the rabbit's name is. And for all of you who were born, you probably would have to be born around the same age as me. So probably born in the, in the mid 80s. And that's the only hint I'm going to give you. Let me know down below what the rabbit's name is and the dog's name. Um, I don't What am I talking about? Iron Man 55. Thought would be 7 to go. Got an 8 -0. Good there. 9.99. Here's a cool one. Don't get this book very often. And I get the one, uh, his first appearance even less than that. I think I had his first appearance once. Uh, second appearance, Barry Allen. Flash. Showcase number 8. Um, came back great. I was hoping for it. 24.99. I also think it's the first Captain Cold as well. We got Silver Surfer number four, classic cover versus Silver Surfer and Thor. Um, 1499. Always love that cover. So I'll showcase every time. We got Blade. Someone asked me if there's any new Blade news. I don't know. I follow the news a little bit, but not too much. Um, 5B, 8 got 7, 5, 15, 55, 15, sorry. Then we got Moon Knight, which Kevin Feige said earlier today, after I said I don't follow the news, I'm just going to tell you some news stories. Uh, Kevin Feige said yesterday or today or sometime soon, uh, that Moon Knight will continue on in the Avengers or something along the lines like that. Uh, thought I'd be 6, 5, got a 5, 0. What's wrong with this book? Or what's wrong with me and my eyes? Uh, it's pretty nice, actually. Interesting. Whatever. Um, all right, X-Men 94. Uh, 725. And the last one out of the stack. X-Men 101, First Phoenix. I think I put this on my top 10... 70s list as well. Uh, 1029. Dogs. All right, so here comes down to my two biggest mistakes that I'm very. I don't understand what my brain was thinking when I went and did this at all. So I cannot tell you. Um, here we go. Let's move this over here. All right, we got a Black Panther number one limited edition. Who cares? Um, just to let you know what it's worth, uh, thirty-five dollars. I thought it'd be a nine eight nine six. Now here's what I'm thinking. Even if this came back a nine eight, you know what it's worth? About the same. It's not really worth it much more. I mean, uh, thirty-five dollars for this book is kind of, eh. I would I would put that like a little high, but not like too high. Um, yeah, it's even at a nine eight, it's worth like. $45, maybe. Basically, this book is worth case, case cost. A case cost, when I, when I say that, I say that often, is what it costs to send this to CGC, which I think it was like, sorry, my dogs kept scratching at the door. Um, so, case cost. What it costs to send it there, get it graded, then to have it, you know, pay for shipping, insurance, all that stuff. So basically, case cost is going to be, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks. That's what I say, case cost, 40, 50 dollars. Why did I send this? I have no idea. Because here's the thing. This came back as <clears throat> 35 dollars. It cost me basically that to send it. 
Now, obviously, I put these in with a bunch of others, save on a little bit of shipping, all that kind of stuff, but not really. Like, it's stupid. This is a waste of t my time and my money to send this book in. Now, granted, maybe I was thinking, oh, if it came back a 9.8, it'd be worth more. No, no, it's not even really worth more. So that's stupid. And here we go again. Next one up, right here, Black Panther. This one did come back a 9.8. This is number four. Kind of cool cover. Um, $39 for a 9.8. Why would I send this? It makes zero sense. The only reason someone should send a book like this, now, that, what, if this came back in 9.6, it'd be worth like $15. Like, thankfully, it came back in the 9.8. You never know how CGC is going to be. Oh, yay. You know? So basically, I'm into it, you know, what did I say this was? Uh, $39. So thankfully, it came back in 9.8. But it's like, my best case I could get is $39. So what is the point of that? It's pointless. You should never send in a book like this. The only reason you should send in a book like this is if you personally like it and you want to put it in a case as a 9.8 or whatever it is like that um, and you want to hang your wall or you want a free collection or something like that or you buy it like this. If you buy it like this, then you don't have to worry about sending it to CGC and not getting it. So now you got a 9.8 of this book. By the way, a book like this, you should only get a 9.8. Only, 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 only. Never buy a book or the book I showed you before ever in anything less than a 9.8. Now, if you send it in and you get a 9.6 or 9.4 or whatever, but never buy a book like that. You, and the reason why I say you should buy a book like that in a 9.8 is because it's so freaking cheap. Look at it. It's $40. I have it up for, the other one's $35. 40 bucks. What are you going to get? A 9.6 for $20? Like, it's just going to be harder to sell when you try to sell it. Um, if you're just buying it just for yourself, fine. Buy whatever you want, keep whatever you want, grade whatever you want. That's different. But if you're buying it for the sell it one day, get a 9.8. Like all modern books, moderns, even though this was 2005, modern, um, 9.8s. You should only get 9.8s. The only time you should get a modern book that's not a 9.8 is if it's like more expensive. Like, Ultimate Fallout 4, that was 2011, right? 9.8 is obviously, I don't know, 1,500 grand or something like that, and 9.6, like multiple hundreds and stuff like that. That's fine. You can get a lower, lower grade of that because there's the desire. But just some random book like this, always 9.8. Like, this is the second appearance of Shuri. Who, you know, who cares, right? Um, I mean, the first appearance of Shuri is like dropping like a stone anyways, too. Um, yeah, so I don't know what I was thinking. It made no sense for me to even grade it. I'm assuming that maybe I accidentally stuck it in the stack of stuff to be graded. I don't know. I think the cover's cool. Or maybe I thought it was some variant cover, like a sketch cover or something. I don't know. I really don't know. Or probably what happened was I looked up the wrong Black Panther and because there's so many series, like I can't, don't get me started on the numbering. I can't stand it. Just, just make the numbers go up forever. Stop chain Marvel. Stop making number ones like every year so you can convince people to buy the number ones because then you make a million variants and then, oh, you want this variant? Well, you got to order 10,000 copies to get this one in 10,000 ratio variant. And then it ends up not being worth that much anyways in the end because there's so many freaking variants. Ugh, I don't know. I was talking to someone. It's manufacturer scarcity, which sports cards do. But the, pro the issue is with sports cards, at least, I feel like they have more value. I feel like most of these variants of comics never have any value. I don't know. I'm not too into the sports cards. Maybe someone out, you, out there is. Um, but I feel like the variants of the sports cards have more value compared to variants of comics. I mean, is it just so many variants? Like... If you pick up a new number one of something, it has like 30 different variants, 20 different variants. I don't think it exists like in a sports card. If you pick up like some cool rookie that's supposed to be like the next Michael Jordan, um, they might have like three variants. Like they have the normal card, some special version of that card, and then like a really special version of that card. I don't know. Maybe they should do something like that. Maybe comics should just adopt that. 
I mean, they kind of do with when they do make it a one in 100 and there's like 300 of them, but of a certain one, but I don't know. There's just not, there's not valuable. They're really, even if they're like <clears throat> a super rare um, variant, there's never that valuable. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe this, the market isn't there. People care as much for variants because there's so many. I think that's the issue. If you made less variants, like in sports cards, you would have those variants be worth a lot more. But instead, all variants just become worthless. They all become case cost. All moderns, most of these become case cost. Um, yeah, I don't know. But then, you know, how are they gonna make their money? All right, Invincible number two, 5.99. Invincible number three. Two eighty-nine. Invincible sixty-one. I'm showing off some invincibles. I have a whole bunch more, just a bunch more um, that I got in, but one ninety-nine. And here is my other mistake. That's what you want to get to. You want to get to the the, the David fails. Um, basically, two of the same book, kind of. So we got this Iron Man seven. And the same one, but a variant. As I'm talking about variants, that's the third printing. I bought a bunch of these books, and they've dropped like a stone. I forgot about them because I bought them years ago. And I was going through an old box. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a whole bunch of these. All oh, have dropped it. so much in value. This one. Is a 9.8 third printing. $79. Nope, $79. I have a 9 0, $39. $79. $79. I paid hundreds for this book a long time ago. This one right here got a 9.8. Used to be worth a lot. $229 for this 9.8. I think I paid four something for it. Yes. So that's what happens when you wait too long for certain things. Um, yeah. Win some, lose some. Um, yeah, I, I kind of, I tend to stay for the most part, out of the modern variant game. The only, if you want to play the variant game, I did a, a video on this already, talking about how most of them all turned trash. They all drop like a stone uh, after like three, six months. Um, if you want to do the variant game, this is my suggestion. Wait a year, two years, three years. Wait till you see a trend of them going up. Um, wait till you see if you don't know what a floor is, like wait till the floor, they establish a floor and then they trend up and they never really go back down to that floor again. Um, I did my video talking about it. Uh, maybe I'll link it up up here or something. I showed like Moon Knight variants and I talked about how technically this one, Moon Knight number one, who knows what's volume four, five, six, 76, who cares? Um, even though this one was way more, it was like a David Finch variant, who I, I like, his art. Even though it was way more rare, like it was a 1 in 250 or 1 in 1,000, I forget. Um, way more rare. It was actually less expensive than the Bilsen-Kevich uh, variant, which was actually more common. Because over time, people tend to gravitate towards that one more, even though the other one was more rare. The other one basically turned to dust, went to nothing are close to it, even though it was like vastly way less copies. And the, the Bill uh, Sins, Sinkevich one actually went up in value. Now that is pretty much an anomaly in variants. Um, most all turn to dust, uh, turn to nothing, worth basically case cost, um, like this one will soon be, most likely. I don't know, I'm imagining that this one will continue to drop. It'll probably sit around 
the $150 range. It might get a boost when they come out with that Ironheart TV show a little bit, but the reality is it's not going to get that much a boost, um, at least for a long time, because the thing is, that character sucks. <laughs> there's no way to, there are no two ways about it. It was terrible in Wakanda Forever. And what are you going to do about that? No one's walking around going, oh my gosh, you know who the standout character was? Riri, Ironheart. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for a TV show. No one cares. No one cares. No one cares. And this character is not going to go anywhere. This character will be a flash in the pan. The TV show will come out. It will suck. No one will care. They'll continue to push it, but they can only push it for so long and no one will really care. And Riri will pop up here and there, but eventually it'll fade, fade away. And that's how I imagine this character going. Now, there is the off chance. I do have number nine and I put it in my vault. The number nine variant. I put it in my vault because I'm hedging my bets. Most of them I'm selling. Why? Because I don't think it's, but on the off chance that it does happen or it does begin, and that cover's way cool. I actually like the cover a lot. Um, it's like the age of something. Anyways, cover's cool. I like it, so regardless. And I got a nine eight of it, stashed it away on the off chance that it becomes something. If it becomes something, it's gonna be worth vast, tons and tons and tons of money. But that's a gamble you're taking. I'm not willing to, like, I took the gamble. I lost most of it. And I'm like, okay, I'll just let it all go and instead of trying to keep these, hoping that one day they'll rebuild. Now, this one, this is not a very cool cover to begin with. I don't like it at all. I think Mary, is it Mary Jane? Yeah, Mary Jane. I think she was drawn terribly by David Lopez did the cover. He was terrible. Um, I don't know anything about his art. I mean, he has the name David, so that he has got that going for him. But the art is terrible, in my personal opinion. That's just my opinion. And um, yeah, I just don't think that is the cover that's going to, like I said, remember the Moon Knight stuff. For some reason, people gravitated to one nor the other. I think the variant nine, people will gravitate a lot more uh, than this cover because this cover is very boring and not even flattering, not even cool. <sighs> yeah, man, you know, I, I always wonder about this. I don't know who this David Lopez is personally, um, but you get the chance to draw a cover. This is what you come up with. Like this to me is a very boring cover. Like obviously the art is, he's good. Like I'm not saying he's bad. I think her face is terrible, um, not appealing whatsoever. Female form is, on this one instance alone, he does not know how to draw the female form uh, attractively. Maybe that's not what he was trying to go for. I don't know. But beyond that, it's a boring cover. Boring cover. That's the other cover, nine. Fantastic cover. I would hang that up. That is cool looking. This is terrible looking. No one wants to showcase this. I mean, I'm sure someone out there does. Sorry, I'm going on a rant about this cover. Anyways, uh, I don't even know what to talk about anymore. Um, these are all listed. Have a good night.